Hi, Sagittarius. Welcome in to your weekly reading, which I have started to do for you guys every Sunday. I'm going to be doing them every Sunday for the next two, three months. Two months, I want to say. What's the situation first week of May for Saggy? Uh, with Why am I telling you that? Because uh, I'm trying to grow your cohort on my channel. Um, I've only been just doing Taurus and Aries and Gemini now, uh, fully growing in Aquarius and Leo, and now you. Now, the only way the channel grows is your likes, share, subscriptions, and your comments down below. Uh, this is the only way that it could signify to me if we are connecting, and if we are not, I will move on. <laughs> because Cancer is begging me for readings, and I can't do every sign, unfortunately. Okay, let's see what's going on here for you guys. All right, so you have the Wheel of Fortune and the Hierophant. You have something lucky coming your way, guys, okay? You have three fates working on your behalf. Uh, and the Hierophant represents commitment, something that's orthodox, something that's typical, institution, like college, like marriage, like church, whatever that is for you. You have either A, a second chance here in this commitment with something or someone, um, or some luck in regards to that. Something that has been burdening you. Something that was a lot on your plate. I'm going to put down your whole spread, guys. And then we're going to clarify over later. And the clarifications is going to give me the details of your situation for the week. So let's see what's coming towards you. What's coming towards my Saggies, please? I have the King of Cups which is a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, male. Others of you, this is an incoming energy. So if you're a male watching me, this is another male that you're dealing with that's that water sign. Otherwise, this is an incoming male or female in regards to love. All right, and the Four of Cups in reverse. Interesting. This is telling me this is a runner-chaser dynamic. Okay, this is unrequited love, but now it's in reverse. So somebody might be coming back uh, or somebody is finally emotionally available because they're seeing you as something abundant. Flip the script. This can be you too, Sagittarius. All of a sudden, you're looking at somebody where you see them as something that's abundant in regards to something emotional with love and feelings. Um, you think that they're emotionally mature and can handle any difficult conversation. This is somebody that you might have had a big fight with, a big argument a big explosion could have broke up with somebody or said divorce or you said some fucking somebody said something fucking stupid anyway now they're coming back and they're looking at the situation as abundant uh again we're going to clarify everything and that's where we'll get more details let's see what you don't see coming what's the surprise for saggy please in the next four weeks, first of all, we're in the first few days of Mercury retrograde communications fucked up. However, because it's going through Taurus, which and their ruling planet is Venus, you guys are all looking socially like rock stars. Um, but you're focusing more on yourself, Sagittarius. You're you're starting to feel like, you know what, there's some things here in my life that I want to achieve and I want to achieve uh, efficiently. I want perfection. I want to upgrade my status. So you're going to be working a little harder uh, on yourself, on your career, on everything, even yourself. You're even starting to focus um, on not just the people that are in your life. Are they worth your time? Uh, will they, you know, be there for you as you're going through your process, etc. cetera? Uh, because what you don't see coming is the sun in reverse. Either... You're trying to achieve something that's going to make you happy uh, or it hasn't even arrived yet. Let me see. Let me have one more. What do you mean? Uh, give me one more for the sun, please. Oh, yeah. Something ends for you. Okay. This is going to be shocking and there's no way I'm going to lie to you or not rip off this band-aid. But the ten of swords is the ten of swords. This is a betrayal. This is an ending of some kind. And when I see this runner chaser dynamic situation, this is not all good in the hood. This is just like some back and forth bullshit that you're just not like, nah. -uh. So what's going to be shocking for you is that you're not going to be happy with this ending or this betrayal. I mean, it's clear as day to me. But you're going to heal quite quickly from it. Okay, let's see what the advice is.
the Emperor, Aries energy. I see Leo energy, Aries energy, and all the water signs. Into Pisces, Scorpio, Pisces. Two major arcanas in your advice. All right, Spirit's like saying, okay, really Sagittarius, you need to hang back. You need to take a hot minute and a step back to reflect on something or see something in a different perspective, in a different light. Okay, so the thing with the hangman is you see this person, he's hanging upside down. Maybe you need to see something upside down. All right, and then the emperor. Two things, you're dealing with an Aries or you need to boss up like one. You might need to take the words or advice or the value of somebody that you're dealing with that is an emperor also. We'll see. We'll clarify all these later on. If not, this is telling you to boss up and see something from someone else's point of view. The moon. Because you don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Because you don't know what the other person's thinking. Because you don't know what the future is going to be like. So Spirit's like saying, this is your advice. Hang back. Take a step back. Look at it from somebody else's point of view, their other perspective. It's time to boss up. All right. Let's see what the outcome is for the week, please. Two of Wands. You're going to be at a crossroads with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Alice is, has two walking sticks back here. The one in the back of her is her, represents her past. It's the one where she's like, do I take a risk? Do I not take a risk? But she's holding the other one, the one that is a walking stick into her future because she's looking out into the horizon. And she's saying to herself, that's my path. But you can't decide. You don't know if you should go backwards or forward. So you're at that crossroads right now. And your advice is to see something from a different perspective. There has been an ending and a betrayal, but there is a second opportunity here with your commitment. I don't know if you're dealing with two people or just this one situation, because I see two kings, meaning two incoming energies, a water sign and a fire sign. Those of you that are not dealing with another person, you're dealing with your commitment, your marriage, or something that you're committed to. Let's start clarifying some of this stuff for you, Saggy, and see what's going on here. What is the Wheel of Fortune? And the Hierophant, please, for Sagittarius. Seven of Pentacles in reverse and the two, the yeah, the two of wands. The two of wands ends the same way as the two of wands. So when this new opportunity, well, it's not new. When this lucky chance comes in towards you again, um, Sagittarius, it puts you in this crossroads. And then it forces you to pause and reflect on the time and energy that you had invested in something, whether it was financially or emotionally in a person. So you're sitting there like this. You're like, okay, what do I do? I turn my back on this person situation that I invested time and energy on, but here I have this opportunity to make it work. Um, and so this is your current situation. Someone's either offering you an apology or you are doing it. Let's see what happens. And I think when this comes in, this is what makes you pause and reflect. Okay. I had to pause you for a second. I had to put your buds in. There's just too much outside noise. Let's see if this helps. Now, let's see what's going on here, Sagi, with um, this King of Cups and the Four of Cups in reverse. Too many spirit way too many narrow it down i will take this though yeah sagittarius it looks like uh, this five of swords you got some mental battles going on in your head it looks crazy to me you you really need to sacrifice something because that's the bittersweet card you win some you lose some uh let me have one more please 
I don't know if you've been arguing and fighting with this person also, but somebody here is finally seeing the abundance of the other person. It's still unrequited love. This is somebody who's not certain of their feelings for someone. This is you, this is them, I don't know. To me, this makes me feel, Saggy, like this isn't going to go anywhere. This is kind of like a fling. This is kind of like an affair. I, I don't know what to make of this whole entire situation for you guys. Um, let's see what's going on here with this, the Sun card and the Ten of Swords. The Hierophant and the Knight of Cups. All right. So somebody here is making an offer in regards to commitment or marriage, and it's like it can be an apology to the commitment or marriage. Something that's being formalized, something that's formal. That was an ending, that was a betrayal. Uh, and when this comes, it does make somebody here happy. However, it, it's not exactly, it makes one of you happy. Let me put it that way. I'm not so sure it's you. Um, what's the higher? Uh, I'm sorry, the emperor and the hangman. Wow, I'm like struggling to do your reading. It's crazy. I, I just feel like you. It, it's your. It's it's you, Saji. You're trying to complete something here in your life. You're trying to achieve something in your life. You're trying to better yourself. Um. But you're also dealing with this whole entire situation. And now it just almost feels like something that you got to clean up or deal with or get through. Uh, because your advice is sitting here telling me you have to see something from a different perspective. Listen to somebody else. You need to boss up. But in the interim, as you're doing this, you need to uh, slow your roll. Take a, take a beat. W walk forward slowly, cautiously, but move. Definitely keep wishing your... This is your card, by the way. So you still need to be chasing your dreams and going after what you want. What is this... Two of Swords, please, in the outcome. This is a challenge for you. What is the challenge? It's because you broke up with somebody, because you had a fight with somebody, because you lost your job, because something went sideways hard. And now whatever that was you're trying to decide path forward and that's how you end the week because the ten of swords in reverse is telling me that it's something that you're revisiting that had betrayed you or something that had ended but with the ten of swords in reverse it's always also telling me you all you are also healing from it you are also moving on you are finally seeing this 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 thing that has ended and now you are looking at your path forward um your future so there's that so your understanding now for yourself sagittarius it's a new dawn it's a new day for you all right so let me see what your romance angels are trying to say with this whole entire situation in regards to love if this isn't love then wait for the next oracle deck which will be your advice yeah attraction and express your love um Go ahead and make the romantic gesture attraction. You are. You're teetering somewhere here with something that has ended and something else that's moving forward. I don't know if you're trying to revive an old relationship for some of you guys or if you're just wanting to move on and just be alone and do what you got to do. Uh, because attraction talks about you make yourself more attractive when you are doing your own thing, when you are being yourself. Um but express your love is you can't completely shut the door to, to, to your emotions, to your boundaries, whatever that is for you. There's a difference between boundaries and walls. If you put up walls, no one can get through. Boundaries just tells you where the door is. You can get through, but, you know, make sure you're respectful. And then I'm talking about you to yourself when you're expressing this to others. But you also need to express love. Because if you're not expressing love, then the other person has no fucking idea what you want. Or that you even want to be with them. Um, so you do you. 
but definitely also express your feels. At the bottom of the deck, it talks about worth waiting for. Doing these two actions is what's going to attract you, the person that you need in your life, in my opinion. But you are now analyzing something that you had, you know, put a lot of time and effort in, and now it's collapsed, but it's, you're trying to see, you should be seeing something from a different perspective. Maybe you've outgrown it. Maybe it's time to move on. I don't know what this is, but it talks about you looking in your future, doing the new thing. Uh, let's see. But if you express your love, you might get all your answers, too. We'll see you next week's reading how this manifests for you guys. Anything else for Sagittarius, please? Obedience. Interesting. Obedience talks about um, even obedience even with yourself. I'm going to read this for you. But it talks about honesty and truth and uh, you deserving that also in your life. These are rules for, there are rules for everything. The sun rises and the moon sets and they dance together in perfect step. What rules are you considering when you ask your question? You'll be sorry if you're going to break a rule that's in place to protect you and others. Even though you may not like authority right now, this is the time to obey what has been set in motion. This is the time to learn the lay of the land. Learn the lay of the land. And to follow the customs that keep things in order. That is the hierophant. Tradition. Learn the steps of the dance before you attempt to change them just to suit your own personal needs. Sagi, this is needing to be a bit obedient in the situation right now or everything will collapse. That is set for your greatest and highest good. And you don't want that. And oracle cards are your spirit angels looking down at you and they see what you're doing. They see your actions. They see your thoughts. And they are the ones that are going to course correct you by advising you through Oracle. So I hope that's helping you uh, make the decision that you're trying to make here. So definitely they are trying to guide you to see something in a different way, in a different perspective. Okay, and then of course, if you keep to yourself, keep quiet, do your own thing, but express from your heart chakra. Be open to people in a loving type of manner and you have everything to gain, I promise you. All right, Sachi, this is what I have for you. I hope this helped. Please leave me your comments down below, and I'll see you next Sunday.